Hello, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm gonna show you today how to contour. First, I'm gonna real quick do my highlight and my brightening color, and then I'll, and I'm fast forwarding because this is, video is specifically just for those gals that want to learn how to contour. So just stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, I've only put on my brightening color and my highlight color, and I've only put it in the places where it belongs. That's what's so great about this makeup is you're not putting layers upon layers upon layers of makeup. You're only putting product just where it belongs. So now let's get to contouring. I am going to take my 30 second hack brush and I'm going to take the fluffier end of the brush. Today I'm using henna as a contour. You can use pretty much any contour, um, color that we have. Henna is the most versatile. I recommend it to most people because it looks great on everyone. When you're going to contour, you're going to just dab your brush into your contour color. And then you're going to start where you feel your cheekbones start to roll over at your ear. That's where it rolls. Right under there is where you want to start your contour color. So mine is right here. So I'm going to just swipe all the way down. Now there is no wrong way to apply this makeup. You can use your fingers, you can use your brush, you can put contour on first, you can put contour on last, it doesn't matter. This is where the natural shadow would be on my face because of that cheekbone. So that's where I am bringing down this contour color. Then you also want to contour your jawline and bring it down to your neck so that you don't have a floating face. We've all seen those people that have a face that's one color and a neck or a jawline that's a completely different color. And most of our jawlines don't get any bit of sun at all because we have this face that covers it up. So we are lighter. So you may wanna make sure to bring it down. Now I know I look like I have clown makeup on right now, but stick with me, okay? It's gonna all work out. Then I'm gonna take that same contour color and I'm going on my forehead, brushing it around my forehead. Now, some people like a really light, natural looking shadow, and so they do lighter. What's so great about this makeup with it being cream, you, it's so buildable, so easy to build. So you can just add more until you feel like you've got a nice shadow. If you have a large forehead, you will want to bring the contour color down further because this is what's going to shadow and make it look smaller, if you know what I mean. So, contouring, it's almost like you're making a three. You're coming here, you're going here, and then you're going to your jaw. And I always bring it down, like I mentioned before, a little bit on my neck. Now it looks streaky and it looks crazy, but it's okay. You can take that same brush or you can use your perfector sponge at this point. And you're going to just blend everything together. So I'm blending it out. I'm not getting rid of the color, but I'm just blending it out so that it blends and looks more natural with this 3D face with the rest of the highlights that are on. Look at that, it looks wonderful. And it's not like I have brown spots on my face. It's just a natural shadow. Do you see how well this blends with each other? The highlights blend with the contours and it just gives you a three-dimensional face, which I love. So from here, if you want to contour your nose, you absolutely can for a smaller looking nose. This is the detail hack brush. Now you can also use this brush to contour with. It's gonna give you a little bit more chiseled look but I'm gonna take the smaller end of the detail hack brush and I'm gonna put it in that same contour color, henna. And then I'm gonna bring a stripe down this nose. Underneath and then down on the other side. You see a little shadow forming here? So right now it looks pretty streaky, pretty zebra-like. I'm just gonna flip the end and brush it out. 
rhinoplasty ladies for a fraction of the of the cost. No longer do I have stripes, but I have a much thinner looking nose. I'm also gonna take that detailed end there and I'm gonna go right underneath my lip here. This is gonna make, look how it made my lower lip stick out a little bit. It's, it didn't actually make it stick out, but it appears like it's sticking out. So here's your lip injections for a fraction of the price. <laughs> That's why this makeup is so awesome. You can do it on the top as well. Just a little bit right on the edge. Got a little bit too much there. And that's the other thing. If you get too much, you can just wipe it away. So there you go. That's how to contour. Some people contour their chin. I don't contour my chin because I have a pretty prominent pony chin, bony chin bone. But you can contour your chin. You can contour... I think I pretty much covered it. If you want your chin to look smaller, you can contour your chin. Lip, nose, and the three on the side of your face and you're good to go. Now keep in mind, I don't have my blush on or my mascara yet, so this face is not just done. Not just yet, but I'll be right back with more and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm back. So there you have it. Here's the full face of makeup. Now those eyes don't look quite so crazy, do they? When you have all the rest of your makeup on, it all just comes together so well. You saw me how you saw how to contour. You saw how to do this great eyeshadow look. Look at it. It's amazing and it's gorgeous. Thanks for watching. See you at the live event.